In order to develop an application that includes more threads in addition to the main thread each application includes, we should use the thread class. Instantiating the thread class, we should pass a thread start delegate. In this code sample, we can see the definition of two methods, two static methods, we pass over as delegates when instantiating the thread class. These two specific lines result in two objects of type thread. When calling the start method on a thread object, we indirectly calls that specific thread object that uh, functions as a virtual CPU to start working, meaning indirectly we execute the delegated method in a new separated thread. So if we go over this specific code, we have the main thread that its main method is this specific main method. Concurrently with executing this specific method, when the start method is called on each one of these specific thread objects, we indirectly get two more threads that executed concurrently with the main thread. So while the main thread prints out the word Carmel 100 times, each one of the two other threads, the new ones, print to the screen. One of them print banana 100 times and the other prints tapuz 100 times. Let's see how it works. You can see the three thre threads concurrently executed. One of them prints out to the screen the word Carmel, and concurrently with that specific thread, two other threads print out banana and tapuz. You can also note this that each time we execute, the separation of the CPU resource between the threads is carried out in a different way, which is a ran random way, something we do not have a direct control of.